This video is all the comic figure blog's fault. That's right. You see, the comic figure blog started a tag video with the topic of tips and tricks for collecting action figures. But then he proceeded to talk about his tips for 10 minutes before tagging me, dumbass reviewer, and a couple of others. Dude, save some tips for the rest of us. And now I can't even continue to give him a hard time about it because dumbass reviewer finished his response before me and he talks for 25 minutes. <laughs> Guys, you're killing me. This is all in good fun, but it did take some thinking to come up with something different because they both gave excellent tips. You could check out their videos anytime by clicking on the little circle at the top of your screen to open the video cards. I better get back on topic, or otherwise I'm going to be a hypocrite if this ends up being 10 minutes. So let's get started. We collect action figures because we enjoy them, right? And increasing the enjoyment of your collection is the tip I'm going to focus on in this video. I know I don't enjoy my collection as much if it's stored away in boxes or totes, but if you put them on a shelf, you can only see the front row clearly. The solution to this problem is shelf risers. You can either buy them, or if you're thrifty like me, make them. Now I know what you're thinking. Those aren't action figures. Those are ponies. Well, I'll have you know that some of them have rotating heads. Uh, okay, they're not action figures, but they're a good example of one shelf riser technique. You can stack books, CD cases, DVD cases, or VHS tapes to lift your back row. Yeah, I still have some VHS tapes. Don't judge me. Here, I took a piece of white computer paper and placed my tapes and DVDs on top of it, and then just folded it above the tapes. Instant, low-budget shelf riser. Just use whatever media you don't plan on watching very often. If you have a little bit of funds to spend, you can go to Dollar Tree, buy sheets of white foam board or black. They have black now too. Get yourself a low-temperature glue gun and some glue sticks, and you can make risers yourself. I can't take credit for this amazing idea. I first saw this posted by Sailor Earth on the My Little Pony Arena a few years ago, and I had to pass it on because I'm so happy with the results. Now you could see everyone! If you're low on space, like me, you can rotate your displays monthly. Basically, do whatever you need to enjoy your collection, and that's my tip. Now, I need to tag a couple people to make follow-up videos on action figure collecting tips and tricks. First, I nominate my buddy, Deadpool3416. I'm sure with your impressive Marvel Legends collection, you can give us some more ideas. I'm also gonna tag Rabbit Hammer, who's probably already been tagged because you're friends with everyone in the action figure community on the internet. <laughs> in fact, I'm pretty sure dumbass reviewer tagged you, but too bad. Consider yourself double tagged. So that's it for today. Special thanks to the Comic Figure blog for the fun video chain idea. And if you're new to my channel, feel free to check out some of my other videos. And you could always subscribe if you'd like to stay updated with my content. Thanks for watching.